Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. So the drama is unfolding right now over Earl Spence and him not signing to activate his rematch with Terrence Crawford. Now, l l listen, okay? It's, it's crazy to me how People will just go off on a tangent and say that Earl Spence is ducking Crawford. Earl Spence is afraid of Terrence Crawford. Earl Spence hasn't activated the rematch clause. 30 days has elapsed, but it was pointed out um, that they're not sure if they're talking about 30 calendar days or 30 business days because that matters when you're talking boxing. Now, one thing I will tell you, right, as we're talking, I'm pulling something up. Uh, Bomac has already gone on record and said, look, uh, Earl Spence needs to think twice about trying to fight Terrence Crawford in a rematch because Bomac definitely feels that um, Earl Spence will get beat worse the second time around. But the consensus for the most part is this, right? That there's no there's no need to have a rematch between Crawford and Spence. I haven't heard one person uh, who has made that statement that Crawford and Spence need to have a rematch. I haven't heard one person make that statement without any doubt in their tone. Okay? And the reason is uh, they're saying that with doubt is because Terrence Crawford left no doubt when he beat Earl Spence for that undisputed distinction. Okay? So what I'm telling you guys is the real deal. Now, Bud was validated in that fight with Spence and there's nothing left for him to prove. I mean, he, he, this is the thing when you when you see a fight that's so one-sided. And you don't need me to tell you this. You see something that's so one-sided, it's like, all right, enough. You ever, for those of you who have ever been, you know, involved in a street fight or witnessed a street fight, whether it's some, between some guys you know, and you see one guy, man, just getting his butt tore out the frame. Eventually you're like, all right, all right, that's enough, that's enough. Then he keeps wanting to to break loose and go back and try to fight the guy again. And then you're like, all right, let him go. Then he gets his ass beat down again. And then you're like, all right, that's enough. He wants to go again. And finally, everyone's like, nah, nah, just stop, stop. Look, you just leave him alone. And it's almost like a little bit of giggling, a giggling undertones like, nah, just stop. Because they know that there's no way in the world the guy can win unless he picks up an equalizer or does something, you know, extremely violent. And that's kind of like where we are with Earl Spence. It's like, nah, that fight was so one-sided. Doesn't matter what weight division is going to be at. You got uh, two good two guys who have some skill. One guy just has a bit more skill, a bit more IQ than the other, and, and it showed. And I don't care what weight they fight at. I'm just telling you, um, Bud Crawford, to me, just seems to have this burning flame inside him where he definitely wants to be the top boxer of the generation, um, and he, it showed. And he feels that he's the best guy in the era, and he said there's only one guy left, and that's Canelo. So for all these people going back and forth about the Earl Spence activation, uh, the, the rematch clause activation, look, if, it's, if it was 30 calendar days, then yeah, yeah, it would have elapsed already, okay? But it's not 30 calendar days. Uh, is my understanding. Now they're saying it's 30 business days. So if we're talking business days, for those who don't know the difference between the calendar day and business day, calendar days are just basically, you know, if there's 31 days in a month, that's 31 calendar days. The business days are the, the Monday through Friday, excluding holidays. Okay, so it's very, very simple. They fought on, what was it, 29 July? You know, that was a Saturday, right? So you just start off um, Saturday, Sunday. That Monday, 
And you go ahead, man, in Monday through Friday, so you're 5, 10, 15, 20. So you can see easily, man, but by the fourth week, you're only at day 20 and a 30 day, uh, 30 calendar day uh, time period. But nonetheless, I don't, I don't, I don't think a rematch is going to answer any questions. Uh, not at all. Uh, Spence in his next fight, I agree it should be at 154, but I just don't think no matter what weight division is going to be at, that he should be looking to mess with, uh, mess with Terrence Crawford in that ring again. Just leave him alone. Okay, I mean, especially right now. Uh, but you're talking about thorough destruction. That'll be like Amir Khan having a rematch with Canelo Alvarez. Why in the world would you want to see Amir Khan get in there and have a rematch with Canelo Alvarez? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Even, I can't even say Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. Because Deontay Wilder was hurting Tyson Fury a lot in that fight. But Tyson Fury... We all saw the fight, especially that third fight. Tyson Fury just beat him down, man. But Wilder had great moments. But the thing with Spence and Crawford is Spence didn't even have a moment. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 so, so it won't matter if the fight's at 147, 154, 475 pounds, man. You know, it just doesn't matter. Crawford proved that he's just a better fighter than Spence. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? This rematch being warranted, that's just a contract thing. But I think... Spence's family, when they sit there and talk to him, I'm sure they're going to sit there and tell him just don't do it. Because Spence didn't show any ability to get anywhere near Crawford. He was throwing wide looping shots and he just looked lost in there, man. You know, that first round was a feeling that round from the second round on. It was, you guys saw what happened. It was just death by jab. You know what I'm saying? Death by co being counterpunched. That's what was happening in the ring. It doesn't matter how good of a fighter Spence is or was. Okay, look, man, you're just you're talking about a generational talent, man, and Crawford just happens to be that guy. And like I've said and people have said in other videos, look, if we really want to see something that could be competitive, look, the unknown, Crawford against Boot Sinners, but who, who knows, or Tim Zhu or him ch chasing legacy like we talked about. But this, this whole thing about the, the, the activate, rematch activation and calm days or business days, uh, only the guys who actually have access to the contract know what it says, but uh, the word on the street is that it's business days, not calendar days. So for all the fight fans out here saying that, oh, the, the rematch is off, uh, Spence, Duck, Crawford, Spence is afraid to have the rematch. I got to tell you, hold, hold your horses and not take it to the stupid, okay? No one knows, except for the guys who've actually viewed the contract and the fly on the wall, no one knows what the verbiage uh, states. But I, w I would tend to think if Earl Spence was not going to fight Terrence Crawford in the rematch, I would tend to think that Earl Spence would just man up and come out and post something on Twitter or say something on Instagram. I can't see him just going quiet and just disappearing into the background and leaving fans puzzled and wondering what his next move is going to be. I think he'll come out and say it or he'll have somebody and one of his uh, representatives come out and speak on his behalf. But I don't know. As of right now, we still got a little bit more time left if we're going off of business days. And if we're going off of business days, we'll see what happens once we get to the 30th business day and see if uh, Earl Spence has chosen to activate the rematch. As of right now, I don't know. But what I do know is a bunch of back and forth going on between whether it's 30 calendar days or 30 business days. But I can't wait to see what decision Earl Spence makes. Because to me, it can be a life or death situation. And I'm not trying to be funny. It's life or death. That being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents. I'm in the breeze.